Hello everybody, welcome back. We are doing Red Zone. Uh, we're going to be doing our second mission for Red Zone. The way that you win this game is that you complete 10 missions or you find or you gather and have 20 survivors. Now at the moment I've done one mission, completed one mission, and I found an extra two survivors and I succeeded in the mission so I didn't lose any so now I'm up to 12 survivors at the moment uh, I was using Colin Johns this is the character, the random character that I started with he has, since he succeeded in the mission he actually got another skill which I rolled up and it is flexible joints so this, I think, helps him when he goes through doorways. He can, uh, normally when you go to a location, you can only go to the, to the square directly opposite the door, or directly next to the door. But with uh, flexible joints, just quickly checking, with flexible joints, I think you can check one diagonal space. You can, you can actually check two squares beyond the door space rather than one. So, um, I have a choice. So it, it makes it a little bit safer to go through doors. So I have my three colored dice, I have my colored pencils, I have a rubber, my pencil. These are the, um, I forget what these are called, the journey cards or journey charts. So I'll be, I'll be taking two of these at random to add to the character card. So I'll be putting character card part there and then we'll have two journey cards here I will roll up the mission and then we will start now I know it's not Christmas anymore but there is another mission for this radioactive reindeer that I do want to do I paid for it I want to make the most of it I want to get my money's worth there are two missions in here so I want to do the other one uh, last time uh, we did one of the missions where we had to find a reindeer um, and we went to the grotto store. Um, that was going to be a good, nice, fun episode. A very yellow map. Uh, this time I'm planning on doing the other mission from Radioactive Reindeer. Yes, I know it's not Christmas anymore. Um, but basically, I've just got to uh, collect six food. But I will be going to the other location, which will be the Christmas market. If I can't find what I need here, then I will be going to the other general locations, like the office, the police station, um, the school, the townhouse, yeah, it, to, to get what I need. But, like I say, I bought this, I'm going to get my money's worth, so yes, I know it's January already, uh, happy January to everybody, but um, yeah, I'm going to get my money's worth out of this, I'm going to do the second mission, and then we'll see how we go. Um, I have cut out the rest of these journey cards, so now we have the basic set from the basic um, rules, plus the ones from the radioactive reindeer, so they're all in here. I've shuffled them all up, so I'll be picking two of these at random. And uh, one thing I learned from last time, I will be fixing these to this, uh, to this uh, sheet because last time they kept moving around. So I will be sticking these down with, with some blue tack. Uh, there's another thing before we start, as I was reading through the rules, um, so I can find out where it is. Afflictions, it's just a question that I do have. On the afflictions table, you have one called busted foot. Uh, and it says, travel takes longer, deduct two from the timeline every time you move from one location to another. Now. Further down, oops, don't want to move stuff. I arranged it. Further down, there is one called sprained ankle. Take an extra hour to get between locations. Now, is this the same thing? Sprained ankle basically means instead of taking one hour to go between locations, it takes two. So the busted foot, is that also the same thing? It takes two hours to journey from one location to another, or this deduct two is that in addition to the one hour for journeying from one journey, uh, one location to another. Um, 
from my reading, it appears that they are the same thing. Um, which, which raises another, another question. A, a sprained ankle shouldn't be a permanent affliction. It's not like a busted foot or club hand or severed hand. A sprained ankle can heal fairly quickly as long as it's, um, as long as you are allowed, you give it time to, to, to rest. Same thing with the bullet graze. Again, that can be treated when you go back to your bunker. Um, what I'm thinking is maybe the bullet graze and the sprayed ankle, sprained ankle should be temporary afflictions. I, I, like I say, I haven't, I haven't come across them yet as I was playing, so I don't know whether they are temporary or permanent, but I see the bullet graze and the sprained ankle as being temporary. Maybe you have to put that character aside for a certain number of um, missions or sessions. So maybe, for example, the bullet graze, the character has to stay in the bunker for the next D3 sessions. For the sprained ankle, the same thing. Maybe the character has to stay in the bunker for the next D3 sessions or missions. So you have to take another character. Because the thing is that your characters, as they do more missions, they're going to get better and better because they're going to get more and more skills or traits. So you may not want to leave them back. You may want to keep using these guys because they're getting better and better. So having a sprained ankle, like I say, it shouldn't be a permanent thing. A sprained ankle can heal. A bullet graze can be, you know, dealt with. So maybe they should be temporary. Just a just a, a thought. That may be how I play them. If I if uh, if my character actually gets these things, I may do a house rule where bullet graze or sprained ankle is not permanent but you have to miss the next d3 sessions or the next d3 missions that's just me looking at the rules and having you know brain waves and yeah i'm probably drinking too much coffee but yeah let's let us get started so what i'm going to do is i am going to get a bit of blue tack and i'm going to fix my character and my two journey cards into let's do this one this is my journey two and let's do this this is my journey from i'm going to stick these down with a bit of blue tack then we will roll up the mission and we will start back in a sec all right i have secure <laughs> i've secured these to the to the sheet so they won't move around just put some blue tack underneath them um I have also written down the mission. Like I say, I'm gonna gonna make get my money's worth out of this. I'm gonna do the second mission from this. I know it's not Christmas, um, but I'm gonna do the second mission anyway, just because. So for this, for the other mission, I had to find a reindeer, and I think I had to find some food as well. I think. Um, yeah, find the reindeer and get two food. This time I've got to get six food, or I lose four survivors, which would not be good would be a setback. So episode two. I've put down my equipment here. So I have a tool belt. Uh, once per mission, this will allow me to double my uh, raw material finds. So if I find a raw material, I can double it to two pieces. Um, okay, last time I forgot to use his, his trait, very observant. Um, that, that, was, that was my mistake. I should have, I should have remembered to do that. Um, very observant, you place two green radiation squares anywhere within a building location when I enter it. So I've got to remember to do that and I'll probably do that on the search squares just to make it safe when I'm searching. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, his, his new skill, flexible joints. When moving through doorways, you can scan two squares beyond the store instead of one. You can then move diagonally if needed rather than just straight forward. So that makes moving through doors a lot safer. Right, let us begin. Now, what we have to do, there are basically, I think, three parts. You journey to the city. You then explore various locations in the city on these location charts. Got to stop moving this. Um, and then we've got to journey back. Now, we only have 24 hours in total for this. Um, after 24 hours, we get a risk of mutation and radiation badness. Uh, the journey to will take two hours. The journey from will take two hours. 
every time that we search a location, so each time I search one of these search positions, it takes one hour. Traveling to another location takes one hour. And there are also events and things that happen within the game that will add more time, like evading bandits and things. That will also add time. Uh, there are also... You also need to try and avoid taking radiation. Um, there's, no, there's no stats, no real combat in this game, but it's still a lot of fun. So, let us begin, and we're going to start with the journey to the city. Now, we start at this green arrow in this box here. We can then move <clears throat> to the next column, but we can only, I think, be in each column three times. So three squares in each column, and then we have to move to the next one. No moving back. You can move diagonally. So when you go into a column which has an event, one of these event icons, you have to roll to see whether it happens. And what you do is you, you mark out the number of squares from where you are in that column to where the event is. So that's radiation. I don't want that. So I want to put as much space between me and that as possible. So if I go here, if I start from here, move to here, one, two, three, I then have to go to here. Now what I would do then is now I've gone into a column which has an event, I would then count the squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I then on a six that would have that would occur. So that sounds good to me. So what we'll do is we'll come here, go to that square, here, and then move down to here. I then move across to this square. So again, since this is the first time in this column, I now have to check events. So we count the boxes to all the events. One, two, three, four, five. So on a six, the radiation hits me. I get a two. I'm fine. Now these event icons all mean different things. So like I said, with, <clears throat> with this one here, this radiation event icon, that would basically give me one radiation. This is a bandit that I need to try and avoid or try not to have him see me. There's a lot of options for these. Uh, this is a peril. It can be good, it can be bad. You have to roll on a table for this. Um, but there's some good things from these, but there's also some, no some nasty things. So the thing is, no matter where I go, I'm going to have a chance of encountering this. But what I could do maybe... 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, if I, if I go here... There's still a chance I'd hit the bandit. I really don't want to find, find the bandits. Um, these are survivors. These are wrecked cars where we have to roll and see if we find anything. Uh, these can heal me of radiation. So if I go here, or if I trigger this event, I can actually heal back one radiation. So, yeah, I really want to avoid this one and this one. So what I'm going to do... Again, these are buildings, so I can't actually interact with these at all. I could. Again, I don't want that one. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. If you come this way, that might work. So I'm going to go. I hope I don't regret this. I'm going to go here. And this is a peril. So we have to roll on the peril table to see exactly what happens. Now, like I say, perils can be good or bad. So we roll a d6 first, we get a four. We roll again and we get a four. Okay, strung up on a lamppost here is a cage. In it is a skinny dog. It raises its head slowly and whines as you approach. You will need to climb the post to release the chain to free the dog. Okay, we roll a four after that. So you manage to reach the top of the pole and release the chain. It rattles free and crashes to the road. The cage door flips open and the dog leaps free and runs off. Continue your journey. Oh. Okay, well, it's not bad. I mean, I could have sprained my ankle if I rolled a one. Or if I rolled a five or six, I could have got a dog companion. So, man, nothing happens. Okay, could have been worse. Okay, so now I think I want to go... One, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
six. Now, the, the bandit is outside of outside of my effect area at the moment. But if I move here, it then becomes a possibility. I think again, reading the rules. I think, I think in the first game I just did the one one roll every time I went into the column. But I think reading the rules again, I think if I move here, I then have to roll for this one because now that's in range. So I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to come. I'm going to come up to here. So again, I check the column for any event icons, and there's one here. It's a wrecked car. So again, I would count the square. So this would be one. So it's automatic. If you are on an event or next to an event, basically it's automatic because you need to roll a one or higher for it to affect you. Here, I had to roll a one, two, three, four, a six or higher for that to affect me. So here the car is automatic. So there we need to check the um, wrecked car uh, search matrix or table. So I'm now going to look at WC1. WC1, again, in the back of the book, about half the book is made up of these tables where you do your searching. So WC1 is the wrecked car. We then find out exactly which part of the car and what we find. On that table so we are going to roll a d6 oops get in that nice roll now we get a two so roll on wc3 wc3 is the seating so what do we get uh, number one the seating you rummage through the seats checking underneath and down the sides and find nothing of use yet yeah. normally what normally low is bad so again nothing all right, now I want to avoid this and avoid that, but that would be nice. So how could I do that? I want to avoid the radiation. Uh, let's have a look. I can go one. I can go. I don't want six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. If I go here, I'd avoid the bandit completely. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So let's. And here and then here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's not he's not in range at the moment. Now I've got a choice. I can either investigate this car, but then I'm I've got a decent chance of being affected by the radiation here, or I can go up. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So at the moment, the bandit's not going to affect me. So what I can do now is I can come into this area here. So now I have to check this column. So there's one here. So this is in range. One, two, three, four. Okay, so on a five or six, I get some radiation. I get a four. So no radiation for me there. Okay. Now I've checked that event, I can now move up here with no further roll, so I'm, I'm safe on that one. I want that, I want another survivor, but I, I need to avoid it afterwards here as well. Um, so how close do I want to go to this? I want to want to avoid this. I think this would be the closest because then I can come down here and then here. And that's going to be the safest place, isn't it? So let's... Yeah, so I can go two, two more times. Yeah, each column you can only move three times, remember? So I can go to here, and then I can go to here. That's the closest I can get. So one, two, I need a three or higher to get, to get a survivor. We roll a five, which is enough. So we roll it. We rolled a three or higher, we get another survivor. So now we add that to our bunker. So now we have 13. That's brilliant. Right, now we have to think in terms of avoiding this bandit. So this is where I am at the moment. I can come down here, two squares, and then I can come, ooh, I've got that radiation, and I? So let's go here. So check now this blocks any events that would be the other side. So I just have to worry about this one. So one, two, three, four, okay, five or six. You get a two. So I'm not affected by the radiation. 
Now the bloody bandit. Oh, this is not a good map. This is the furthest I can get. Oh, oh hang on, I can come down here, can't I? Yeah, but then I can't get out. Or can I go? Oh, I can go diagonally. I can go through here. I don't think this blocks me. Okay, brilliant. So I'll go down two more. I come down to here. So now I check. Oops. I check the column, but this blocks the effect of that. So I can now move to here, I think, because you can move diagonally. I don't think this blocks me. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I can't go like this or whatever, but I, think I can come through here. So I'll go through here. Now, I don't need that, but I want to keep away from this guy. Uh, I think I'm out of range for the car. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm out of range, but I can go up. I can go up one square here, and then I can check. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, on a six, I don't, well, on a six I would get the car, but I don't, I don't search the car. Um, and then I just want to avoid this guy and this thing, don't I? So I'll go up another one. I'll go up to here. One, two, three, for what it's worth. Yep, I heal, but I haven't got any radiation, so I'm fine. Then I'll go up another two. I'll go to here. And six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, go to here and then done. Right, we've journeyed to the city. That is two hours. That takes me two hours to do. All right. Okay, so the journey to the city is complete. It takes two hours. Uh, the only thing I found was a survivor, which I'm not going to complain about. We've got 13 now, need seven more. But we didn't find anything else. Didn't get any radiation. So that's pretty good. Oh, I forgot to do this. So extra vigilant doubles, one, two, three. This is for when we search locations. If I roll doubles on these numbers, if I get a complete set, I can roll on the table and get some stuff. Right, so we have journeyed to the city. Now, now, we're gonna go to locations to try and find loot. In particular, food. I need food because that's what's gonna give us Success. So we got our three colored dice here. Uh, we we're going to write or color on here the order. So when I roll these dice to scan ahead of me, they always follow the same order. So I know exactly which color is which dice or which, which space is which dice. So like last time, let's do red, white, and blue. Okay, don't need the blue, don't need the blue pencil anymore. All right, I've got to find six fruit or I lose four survivors. Uh, so yeah, this time we're going to the Christmas market. Yes, I know it's not Christmas. Um, let's say they've got overstock. So they're selling all of their stuff really cheap after Christmas. Uh, extra discount to Radheads, mutants, and everybody else. <laughs> nah, the place is empty, it's deserted, but that's, um, you know, the Christmas market's still there. Just because it's not Christmas anymore doesn't mean the building has suddenly disappeared. So we are going in here, and which is where we're gonna start, where the arrow is. This is the, this is the front door to the building. There are some spaces that are already colored. Red is bad. Red means highly radioactive. We take radiation if we go in there. Green means safe, so I can go there and absolutely take no damage whatsoever. Uh, yellow would be mildly radioactive, and I will take one radiation damage for every two consecutive yellow squares that I move through. So if I move from yellow to yellow, one radiation. If I move from green to yellow to green to yellow, Nothing. Zero. I'm safe. Um, now, last time I forgot to use my uh, very observant. So what I'm going to do, oh, I think that happens when I enter. So I need to, to go inside first. 
Now this is where my flexible joint is gonna come in. Normally, when you go through a door, you can only scan the one box the other side of the door. So if that turns out to be red, you're screwed. But with flexible joints, you can do two. So I can pick these two or these two. And I have the option of moving diagonally, which normally you can't do. I think this is a really useful skill. So after last mission, which was a success, I rolled for a new trait. I got, I think it was movement. Uh, was it movement? Yeah, the movement subcategory, and I chose flexible joints. All right, let us, let us go. Let us have a look and see what we find. Now, we're going in through this door here. I think I want to scan this side because there's a green there. Okay, I'm going to try and go this way. I'm going to try and check this area first. Now, last in the last mission, I think I saw that the Christmas 5 table was actually better than the Christmas 1 table. That's why it's all the way at the back of the shop. We've got to work our way to get there. OF1 was office. That could still have food. Now, I'm just looking for food. It doesn't really matter where I'm looking. Um, I've got no modifiers. Uh, okay, down here, low and high. If I roll three green or three red, I have to roll because there's another effect. If I roll a triple two or four, there's another effect. So what you do is when you roll the dice for each of the boxes you're scanning, a one or two is green, a three or four is yellow, a five or six is red. Watch as I play through or watch the previous videos and you'll see how it works. It's very, very simple. Yeah, I really like this game for that. It's very, very simple and it's kind of pretty as well. So we are going to be looking at the Christmas market, looking for the food stuff. So we're going to be rolling our three dice, or in this case, because we can only scan for two, we're only going to be rolling two, and I'm going to be doing these ones. So that's red and white. Again, following the, following the sequence, the order. So rolling red and white, we get, uh, okay, so white, so red and white, so red, white. So, okay, uh, have to, okay, so the red dice is two. That means that that square is green. And my, my, my thing's about to come off. Uh, uh, and then a four is yellow, so, All right, so I'm going to move into, I'm going to have, I wish there was a way to mark where, you, where you're going. So I'm going to go to the green square there, safer. Now, um, very observant, when I enter a building, I can take two squares, I can put two green radiation squares anywhere in a building location when I enter it. Well, let's play safe. I'm going to make this one I have to sharpen this pencil in a second. I'm going to make that one green. And let's make this one green. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to sharpen this pencil. One second. All right, so we've made this one green and we're making. Typical. And we're making this one green. Just because they're search areas, if I want to search it, I don't want it to be red because then I'll just take a radiation automatically. So that's the plan. Right. So now I want to go in this direction towards this green square here. So I want to scan these squares in front of me. Red, white, blue. So we roll the dice. Red, ugh, white, ugh, blue. Ugh. Okay. So the red dice is red. And then we have two yellows. That's okay. No need to panic yet. So I will move from the green here into this yellow, the center, directly ahead. I'm then gonna scan these three ahead of me here. So again, we roll the three dice. Holy sh shit. That's not good. That's not good. They're all red. Ah, here we go. 
red, red. Oh god, look at all that red. We've barely started. Ugh. That's not good. However, there's another bad thing. If you roll three reds, you have to roll again to see there's another effect. So, uh, you get a four. Color in two more tiles red anywhere in this room. Well, this is a big bloody room. I think the rooms are separated by doors, so I could... Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. It, could have, it would have been worse if it was a small room, but... This is a, a big area, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one red. I know it's cheating, but never mind. And I'm going to make this one red. Out of the way. <laughs> All right. That wasn't good for me. Now I need to think what I'm going to do. At the moment, I'm here. So what I'll do is I will go back to the green and then come into this yellow. Let's use my normal pencil. So I'm in that yellow here, and I'm going to scan these three ahead of me. So again, red, white, blue. Let's roll the dice. Uh, hmm. We get. Okay, oh, that was a three. So red, white, and blue. So directly ahead of. Oh my god, look at this red. And then yellow and yellow. So red and blue are both mildly radioactive. Oh no, I'm in yellow already. Shh. Oh, nuts. That's not good at all. I'm going to take... Oh, that's really not good. This is where I am. That's really not good at all, is it? I've got to take... I've got to take one... I've got to take one damage. If I go here... Here, 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 here. The only place I can go is there. But then I've got nowhere else to go. Damn, I'm going to have to take damage. Okay, so I'm here. Now, I'm going to take one damage whether I go into yellow or red. It doesn't matter. So, I think I want to go here. Take the one radiation. And then I'm closer to closer to this, this place and this place. Uh, yeah, so I'll go here with the red square. So I'll take one, one radiation damage. Could have done without that. All right, so I'm here. Then I move into the green, so I'm okay. Now, do I want to go this way or this way? I think I want to go... Let's try this way first. So... If I'm going to go in this direction, I can't scan that. That's already been scanned. So I'm not rolling the red dice. I'm rolling the white and the blue dice only. Okay, so red, white, blue. That's the sequence, yeah? Red, white, blue. So ahead of me is green. Good. And then the next one is yellow. All right, so we move to the green. I then scan ahead. Uh, so if I'm here, I can only scan two ahead because the third one doesn't exist. So I can only scan these ones. So again, it will be white and blue only. Okay, let's do that. Nuts. Uh, okay, so ahead of me is ahead of me is red, and then we have yellow. All right, so I have to move into the yellow. But now I can roll all three dice, red, white, and blue. Okay, come on. Give me a safe... Oh, my God. Red, white, blue. Oh, I haven't been doing my doubles. Oh, I've been forgetting to do my bloody doubles. Did I get any doubles? I think I got a double... Oh, I'm going to look back when I'm editing the video and go, yeah, I've got doubles, I forgot. Idiot. Uh, let's, okay, I, I forgot. I can't, I can't remember whether I got any doubles. Let's, let's, I know I've got double sixes, but I ain't got six on here. So, what have we got? We've got yellow, red, red. Ugh. Yellow. Oh, my God. Red. Red. Now, I've got... <laughs> I've got a choice to make. I can go here and take one damage, or I can just forget this 
and come back this way. Yeah, let's. I've, I've taken a while. I don't want to take too much. Okay, so let's let's come back. I can come back and try this way later if I want to. Let's go back to here, and then to here. So we're at this spot. Let's let's take a look at this one. So let's go in this direction. So red's already been done. The red dice has already been done. So we want to the white dice and the blue dice. Okay, white dice and blue dice. What do we get? Okay, so we're going in this direction here. So white, the white dice is green. Okay, good. Oh man, these pencils. Green, and then yellow. Now I've got no problems with either of those because all these pencils are a bit of a pain in the ass. Because I can go here and then here, or I can go here and then here. It doesn't matter because it's not two consecutive yellow. So I'll go here, and then I go into this area here, the search area. So I'm going to search this box here, Christmas one. Xmas 1. So in the supplement, which you can get on drive through RPG, it's really cheap. Uh, in this supplement here, you have a new a new set of these search matrices for the Christmas buildings. So Christmas 1, you roll here and then you roll in another the, the, the table. So Christmas 1, oh, what do we get? 1. Christmas okay, rolling on Christmas 2, we get a 4. In front of you is a collection of withered Christmas trees, but you spot something at the base of one. Someone has been repairing the tree stand and left some wrenches beneath. Gain one equipment. Okay. Got one equipment. Not the resource I need, but it's okay. So we've done that. Uh, searching an area is one hour of time. So I'm, I've used three hours so far. Okie dokie, we are now in this area here. I can try this area, uh, or I could go up here. Let's, let's try going for this area. So we're here at the moment, I wanna scan these three. So red, white, blue. So we're in that square there. So let's search. What do we get? Uh, oh God. I'm not making this easy for myself, am I? So that's what we got there, that's the sequence. So red, Green, red. Mm. So ahead of me is green, and we have red either side. Uh, double fives, don't have double fives. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm moving to the green, roll ahead again, red, white, blue. So I'm now in that green square there. Uh, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. We've got red, oh, that's created a, a bit of a wall, or red, oops, sorry, that was, that was a six. Creating a bit of a red wall here, and then we've got uh, green and green. Okay, sweet. Right, so we are in that square, oh, we're here, we scanned this, so we move to green, we move to green, we scan ahead, but there's only two squares here, so the red dice we don't roll, white dice, blue dice. Let's see what we get. We got a one and a six. Okay, so in that's the sequence we're going, so this is red and green. Nice, we've got a green corridor. <gasps> Shouldn't tempt fate. Oh, what am I doing? I'm tempting bloody fate, aren't I? All right, so we go into the green box. We scan ahead, red, white, blue. Rolling all the dice. Okay, 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 okay. Still, still okay. Red, white, blue, still okay. Um, so we've got yellow ahead of us. Uh, green, oh, sorry, red either side. We've still got a corridor, it's okay. So we go to the yellow, roll again. Holy crap, oh no, it's a yellow, isn't it? 
Ooh, nuts. Oh, hazel nuts. Um, oh, it's a red, red, yellow. Red, red, and yellow. No. Oh, man. I'm, I'm boxed in. Look, I'm surrounded by red. If I go here, I'll take another radiation and I've got hope that that turns out safe. Or I can come back here or here and then try and go down this. Oh, but that's a lot more roll, isn't it? Uh, no, let's go here. So we're going here, we take from yellow to yellow, we take one, one radiation. So we're now in this, in this yellow. So we're scanning ahead, red, white, blue. Oh, sugar. Oh, no. Damn it. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. Red. Uh, green. Oh, bloody box. And red. Oh, I could, if I go, if I search this area, I'm going to take another radiation. It's a bit early in the bloody searching to do that, isn't it? Um, <laughs> it's a bit early in the game, isn't it? But oh, I, I need to search. Okay, let's go there. Let's search. Take another radiation. Damn it! Uh, Christmas one. There we roll. We get a four. So that's Chris Rolling Christmas three table. We get a two. There's a stack of empty Christmas tree cookie tins here blocking your path. Behind them is a wall. On the wall is a green case. It takes an extra hour. Oh no. When you clamber past and find that the case is a first aid kit, getting one medical supply. So I search is one hour. It takes an extra hour, which, oh god, and it's the wrong. It's the wrong resource. The hell, man! I keep rolling double fives and double sixes, which doesn't help. I've got no bloody food yet, and I need six. Ah, okay. So let's go. Ooh, ooh, I forgot about that. Right, let's go back here, and then I want to go this way. So let's scan here. So red's already done. White and blue. I mean that yellow square there. White and blue. Come on. Yay! Two greens. Nice. Why couldn't I add that before? So green and green. So we go to the green here. We scan. Oh no, red, white, blue. White. I need the white dice to be nice. I need the white dice to be nice to me. Thank you very much. Okay, so we keep going. So now we're rolling, no red. So we've got white and blue. I need at least one of them to be nice to me. Come on. All right, so white, the white dice is red. Okay, and then the blue dice gives green. Got a nice little safe pocket here. Again, I'm not, not completely happy about the red and green colors, but because you know, we've with the colour shading, it kind of looks the same sometimes. But I'm okay. So I've gone here, here. Right, I can come back to this point. Uh, forget that. I'll go up. Let's go up this way and maybe try for this one next. So I'm here at the moment. I'm in that search spot. So I want to scan ahead. So just the blue's already been done. So red and white dice. Okay, so white, so red is, oh god, red is red, so much red on this map already, and then yellow, did I use up all my luck on the last game? Okay, so I move into the yellow, I'm scanning ahead, red, white, blue, so I may have used up all my luck. hate me. 
Jesus, look at that. Couldn't even be double four, could it? All right, so yellow, and then uh, probably broken the lens again. Yeah, the pencil as well now, and then oh Christ, look how much bloody red there is. If I go down, I'm going to take another damage, and I. And that's is that red or green? That's red. Can't, uh, I want three radiation already. Okay, so let's go back to here and scan this one. See if I can get around this way. So I'm here. I'm going to scan this. I need, I need the white dice. Sorry, I need the white dice to be good to me. Bitch. Ah. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I want to go. Okay, from here I go to here. And I'll scan that. So I'll go and scan this way. So that's the red dice. I need the red dice to be good to me. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is green. Still a chance. So we move into the green. Scanning ahead. That's the white dice. The white die. Oh, nice. So this is, uh, it's trolling me, isn't it? It's going to get me all the way up to here. And it's going to make this one bloody red, isn't it? Right, so we move up to that green square, white dice again. <laughs> All right, this, this, I know he's trolling me. Look, he's giving me a path here. Nice, 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 nice. It's, the bug is going to make this one red. I bet you. I put money down on it. So I'm on that green here. I'm rolling, okay, red, white, blue. So I'm rolling the blue dice. Uh, oh, yellow. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Oh, feels like this, this lead's about to break as well. Yeah, because I dropped it on the floor, didn't I? All right, that's not too bad. This is still survivable. So now I'm up, up to here in the yellow. I'm okay. Uh, scanning the three ahead of me. Red, white, and blue. Um, okay. Two yellows and a green. Red, white, blue. So, yellow, yellow. Yeah, this lead's about to break as well, damn it. And green. Okay, so we move to the green. Scan ahead, these three. Oops. Oh, you got to be shitting me. Uh, I should have put six here as one of the numbers, shouldn't I? Red. Oh, God. Look at that, solid wall of radiation. And I've got a roll on this bloody thing as well. Uh, oh, come on, get in there. Five, gain one radiation point. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, this isn't going well. And that's almost blocked me off as well, look. Oh, no. Um, all right, let's, let's try this way. So I'm gonna go this direction now. So the red dice has already been done, white and blue. Oh. So white and blue. Come on, give me a path. Okay, so blue's no go. And white gives me... White dice gives me a yellow spot. Okay, I can move into the yellow spot. So now I want to go here. So I'm scanning in this direction. So red and white already done. It's just a blue dice I need to do. Come on, give me a path. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll take that. So I've got a path now. So go to the green, scanning here. So just red and white. Nice, nice, nice. Keep this going. So we'll move, I think I'll move diagonally to this one because that'll give me more options for movement afterwards. So I'm now rolling all three dice, red, white, blue, see where we go. Okay, I've got double two. I don't know whether I've got before. There's double two's got. So red, the red dice is yellow. So this is yellow. And then greens. Sweet. Okay, same thing, move up, scan ahead. 
Okay. That's what we get in the direction we're going. So this is red and then green, yellow, green, and oh, there you go. Red's gone. Give me a sec. Okay, let's try. Okay, so what was it? Yellow is this one. Isn't it? This this lid's gonna crack as well. Yep, see, told you. So this is yellow. Okay, move ahead to the green. Scan the three squares ahead. Red, white, and blue. Oh damn it! Okay, what do we get? Uh. All right, red, white, and blue. Okay, nice. So we've got yellow either side. And we've got green in the middle. Okay, nice. So this is yellow. Okay, so this search spot's yellow. So let's go on to that. Go on to this spot here. We don't take any damage because it's just the first yellow. Right, it's another Christmas one. Let us roll and see what we get. We get a one, roll on Christmas two. Christmas two, we get a five. There are some wooden hanging de uh, decorations here and you identify that some dried herbs and spices are part of their design. Gain one food. We've got food. One, five more to get. Five more to get and another hour. Dump. All right, nice, nice. Now where do we go? All right, so we want to get to the next search zone. There's a search zone here. There's a green next to it that could be useful. So we're here. Let's go bonk, 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 uh, bonk. Or do I want to go bonk instead of bonk? And I can go here, here. Here, yeah, I'll go do that. So we're here in this yellow, and I'll scan this box there. So red, white, blue. So blue, blue dice has to be good to me. Yellow, that's not good to me. That would be radiation because I'm going from yellow to yellow. Um, screw that. There's a back, 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 back track. Okay, we're going back to here. Scanning here, so red's done, so white and blue dice. Okay, so white is yellow. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? White is yellow, blue is red. In this case, blue is green. All right, so we'll go to the green. Scan ahead, so the white's already been done, so red and blue. Red and blue, both green. Oh, very, very nice. And that's a double two. Oh, I've already done that one. That's green. That's green. Yeah, I think for me personally, I, I might have to use different colours because the red and green kind of uh, very similar. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, look, there's a search spot there. So let's go to this one, and then we'll search here. Red, white, blue. Red, white, and blue. Search. Yellow, yellow, yellow. They call it mellow, yellow. Oh, yellow. Okay, we're here. So, yellow, yellow. Right, so this one's yellow as well. Okie dokes. All right. Uh, let us go from here, the green, into this yellow. No damage. And we can search again. Let's search. Got a one, roll on Christmas two again, and get a three. Uh, as you enter the space, you spot in the far corner some movement. It's a small four, no, five legged creature with mottled brown fur. You suddenly realize it's the radiated reindeer you've heard about. Instinctively, you hold out a hand, but it seems distressed. It hisses and spits in your face before charging past you. Okay, oh no, gain one radiation point, but also confirm the radiated reindeer rumor. Uh, I've got five radiation now. That's not good, but confirm rumor. 
reindeer. So now I only need five food. <laughs> I'm on five radiation. This ain't good at all. And I've searched an area, so that's another hour. So I've used seven hours so far. Yeah, it's not good. All right. So we are now in this yellow, this yellow box there with the search area. We are going to search the three ahead of us. Red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. We get, okay, so blue is yellow. And the other two are green. Sweet. So we're going, oh, but yeah, yellow's in front of the door. Look, oh. So let's go to this green, this green spot here, and we will search the three ahead of it. Oh no, I want to go this way, don't I? So I'm going to search these two here. So red's already been done, so white and blue. White and blue. Uh, white is, where was I going? This way, wasn't it? So that's red and that's green. Okay, we've got a corridor. So we go from the green to the green. We scan here. So red and white only. Uh, okay, so red is red. And then white is, oh no, white's green, that's me. That's green as well, I think, isn't it? I can't see that, we said that it was white white letters instead of black letters okay so we've got the green scan ahead so again red just red and white oh no yeah 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 red and white do, 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 do. shit uh okay so ahead of us ugh. so this is yellow and this is red So we'll go into the yellow square, scan ahead, all three dice. Okay, so this is red, and then we have two greens. Okay, sweet. So two greens, I'll go to the green, to the green, and then scan, scan ahead. All right, uh, so I'm in the green one there so red is red red is red white and blue are both yellow okay I can deal with that nice okay so we go there into the yellow and we search and we, get, we get a five which means roll on Christmas four table Christmas four table, I get a four. There is a stack of boxes here, and as you start to search, they tumble f forward and crush you. Uh, okay, let me, let me have a look here, okay. There is a stack of boxes here, and as you start to search, they tumble forward and crush you. You lay and find five food. I've done it. <laughs> um, <laughs> surprise. It's a, it's a create your own story game. You lay and sleep. You lay, I think the boxes are full of food now. I find five food. I think that's, I think that's what it means. Yeah, it says it's in invisible ink, but I can read it quite clearly. It's five food. <laughs> um, <laughs> Toby, Toby, mate, you're missing a bit here. I think. Oh man, what do I do? <laughs> you, they tumble forward and crush you. You lay. Unconscious for one hour, but the boxes are full of food and you find one food. That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to lose one hour for searching, lose one hour from all the boxes coming down on me, but the boxes are full of food. Yeah, I reckon that's what it says. So I reckon I've got two food now. <laughs> hey, hey, hey.
I haven't been having much luck, but you know, I, I think stack of boxes, Christmas thing building, yeah. There's a lot of food on the other one, so yeah, I'm having food, but I'm losing an extra hour, that's the payoff. But yeah, Toby, you're missing a bit there, mate. You're missing, you're missing, you're missing a bit there. All right. So we have searched that area. I've now taken two, four, six, eight, nine hours. Right, we need to come and search some more. There's only two places left in here to search, and I still find, I still need, I still need three food. Because yeah, those boxes were full of food. Right, so we'll go here, 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 here. Uh, I've got to, oh, I could try and go through that door, I suppose. Okay, so we'll go to that green here, and I will search ahead of me. White has already been done, so red and blue I'm going to search. Or scan, sorry. All right, so blue is not the one I wanted. Ugh. That's red. That's not good. And the red square is green, but doesn't, that's not good. Let's check this box. So I'm in this green one, so I move to this yellow. I scan ahead, blue dice. So I'm in that search spot. I'm just scanning ahead. Tickerpool. It's red. Oh, damn. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna have to go in the yellow, won't I? Okay, so let's go back to the green, go into the yellow, and let's scan ahead. Now, I wanna go in this direction, so I'm gonna scan here and here. So white and blue because of my flexible joints skill. All right, all right, all right. So directly ahead of me is green. And then yellow. I mean, flexible joints, not much use here. I would have gone straight anyway. So I'm going from the yellow into the green. And then that's a red one there. So I'm gonna go ahead, scan ahead, red, white, blue. See what we get. Double fours. Oh, okay. I've got double fours. Nice. Um, so yeah, we're here. So we've got three yellow, but we don't get anything for three yellow. Okay. It's only three green or three red that something happens. Okay. So I'm gonna go uh, to this yellow on the corner here and scan ahead, red, white, blue. Yep, that's what we'll do, red, white, and blue. Okay, so ahead of me is green. Uh, to the right is yellow. Don't wanna go there, because it'll get radiation damage, and this is also radiation damage. So we'll go to the green, scan ahead. Uh, ahead of me is green, red, red is red, and then blue is yellow. Okay, i go to the green, scan ahead, red, white, blue, I need the red dice to be nice. Ooh. So green, thank you, uh, yellow, and red. Okay, we go to the green spot, which is Christmas five. Now, like I say, I think if I remember correctly, the first mission, the Christmas five table was actually better than the Christmas one. I could be wrong. So Christmas five, Christmas theme building, do not apply modifiers. Okay, we just roll. Come on, a five. Someone has set up a mannequin here in a terrifying pose and drawn a vicious mouth on the blank face. The hand points towards what appears to be a bear trap on the floor. Most people have avoided this strange presence, but you see a sack behind the leering figure and carefully slide around and grab it. Inside, it's full of candy canes and iced gingerbread. Hey, two food! Two food! Need one more. Excellent. Oh, that takes another hour. Oh, I just got to hope that this one has one food in it. Oh, very, very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. 
All right, let us now go to green and then to yellow and then we'll go this way. So red, white, blue. So we're in that middle yellow spot there. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Um, <laughs> again, it sounds really weird. Okay, so blue, blue is green. White is yellow. And red is red. Because <laughs> the sequence, of course. All right. So we are in the yellow, so we will go to the green, just in case. Red, white, blue. Uh, oh, double one. Thank you. Uh, okay, so red is r oh, nuts. Red is red again. That's not good. And then green, green. Okay, so we will go forward to the green and scan ahead. That's not the thing now, is it? Damn, scan ahead. Uh, hmm. So the blue dice is red. And the other two are yellow. Hmm. Okay, so we move to this yellow here, which is next to this, I think it's the office, that's the office table. So now we want to, we want to roll red, white and blue and hope that white gives me a nice result. Let's have a look and see, shall we? Uh, yeah, nice, nice. So red is... So the red dice is yellow, and then green, green. Now, I just want to find the food. I want to find the food, so I'll go to the green, we'll search. I think this is the office, office one. We'll search there. Off one, now this is in the main book, so I need to hunt this down. Off one is on page 66. On sixty-six office one. Okay, roll for the office. We get a uh, six. So roll on O F seven office seven. We get a five. You kick a door in and discover an untouched staff room. Amongst the chairs and counters, you find some dry food. Gain one food. Yeah, sweet, we've done it. Just need to get back safely now. Excellent. So from there, we will move to here, this green square, and we will exit the building through the window. Nice, we only need to go one location again. Excellent. They do look pretty. These, these locations do look pretty once you've colored them. This was from the first mission, lots of yellow. This one. Um, it's a bit more balanced, I think. Maybe a little bit more green on this one. Yeah, very nice. Sweet. But I didn't get to get my doubles, so I didn't get the extra reward from that. Ah. Okay. That is done. We confirmed a rumour as well. So... Instead of finding six, instead of needing six food, I just need five, which I've got. Excellent. I don't need these anymore. All right, we are now journeying. Oh, I, sorry, I, I didn't know the search, didn't I? So, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven hours. Okay, so the journey back is going to take me two hours. So I've got a, I've got a fair amount of spare time, but this is what I'm worried about. I'm on five radiation. And I've got a journey back. Right, so we're starting, well, technically we journey to and back, but the cards are both in this direction. So we're starting here and we're journeying back to the bunker. So we're journeying here. Now, I want to avoid both of these bloody things. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting the survivor. this uh, all right oh but there's a heel here so don't need to worry too much about this thing 
so I can uh, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So I can go here. I think that's the safest thing. I think I can do. Can so we're going to go here, and then we're going to go here. All right. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So on a three plus, we get radiation. No. On a six plus, we get banding. No. Bloody lucky. Huh? All right. So now I don't need that. I want that. Do I want to get get? I don't want that. That's a wrecked car. Um, I haven't had much luck with wrecked cars. I think even in the first mission, I didn't get much from the wrecked cars. Uh, but I want to avoid this bugger. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Donk. Then I can come down and have a chance. Yeah, let's do that. So I want to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I want to go here. That's the furthest away I can get. So let's let's go this way. Again, I only have a maximum of three in one column, and then go up to here. Uh, one, two, okay, three plus the car. No, that would have been nice to do, but never mind. Uh, go across to here, nothing here. Go across to there, I can heal one radiation. Thank you very much. And it's automatic because I'm on it or next to it. It's automatic, okay, nice. And then I wanna go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay, six plus. Nope. <laughs> so then we go down to there. And we can go across to here. That's the closest I can get. So one, two, three, four, the survivor. One, two, three, four for the car. So let's do the car first. Oops. Car first, I need a four plus. That's a two, so no car. Four plus for the survivor. Two, no. Damn, didn't get either. That's a peril. Do I want to go for peril? I don't want that, do I? Let's go, uh, don't want that either. I can heal the radiation. All right, so let's go there. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, what the hell? One, two, three, four. Okay, five plus. We get the peril effectors. Nope. Go down to here. Uh, Bandit, but he's the wrong side, so he doesn't see me. We'll go to there. Radiation there doesn't affect me, but this one probably does on a two plus. Two plus, I get one radiation. Yeah, I get one radiation. Uh, I'll go down to go down to here. So the car. Let's check the car. It's automatic because I'm next to it. I'd have to roll a one plus. So the car six, roll on WC seven. Lucky find. Oh, okay. What do we get? A six. You flip the boot and find it stuffed with all kinds of material and wood. Gain two raw materials. Tool belt. Get double raw materials. I get four. Not that it's much use for this mission, but never mind. I use my tool belt. So that car was pretty decent. Um, do I want to? Oh, I want to avoid this guy. So let's go here. One, one, two, three, four, five. Five plus, I heal back. Nope. Then we want to go across to here, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So I can go here, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. And peril. I have to roll on the peril table. All right, this is where I found the dog last time, wasn't it? All right, let's have a look and see. We get a six. There is a large van here and tumbled from its rear are several boxes. 
The shutter is partly pulled down and inside it seems dark and gloomy, but there are more boxes further in. Do you want to explore the vehicle? The choice is yours. Um, well, to be honest, none of the none of the results are beneficial to me. I can lose two hours, nothing, or go to medical supplies. But I don't need medical supplies. So it's not going to do me any good. So now, nah, carry on. So we carry on to here. We carry on to there. We're back at the bunker. Two hours are gone, and we are home safe with the food that we need, but only one extra survivor this time. <gasps> oh, we're done. We're done. Okay, so, I now have 13 survivors. I've completed another episode, and Colin Johns is gonna get another treat. So yeah, another success. I didn't get the, the original doubles unless I forgot to notice any of the doubles. Radiation went up a little bit this time. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 hours. Oh. Okay, let's, let's roll up his tray. I don't know whether I can fit it in there. I might have to re rewrite that in smaller letters. So where are the skills? Where are the... Traits, here's the traits. Okay, so we're rolling a D6. We get a two, intelligence. So we have a choice of good intuition. You can roll again on one search area per location or quick-witted. If you trigger a combat evasion icon on the journey to or from the city, you may roll again. You can do this only once per journey. And I've already got very observant. So I think I'm gonna take quick-witted. That give me a chance to avoid that combat, those bandits. So quick witted. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, we didn't find any other specific equipment or weapons or anything. Uh, but we survived. We found another survivor, which is, I'm not gonna argue with that. I'm not gonna complain about finding one more survivor. That's good, that's fine with me. And it was a success, we didn't lose anybody. Didn't get any lasting injuries, so nice. Great, great, great. Episode two is done. I'm really enjoying this game. Although, <laughs> the next uh, the next game, I won't, <laughs> I won't be using this anymore. <laughs> It's not Christmas. So I've done the two missions in here now. Uh, I've done the two maps from the supplement, from the Christmas supplement. I did the grotto store in the last mission and I've just done the Christmas market. Um, so next mission, we'll be going back to the basic rules, the basic locations and the basic matrices. But yeah, the little the little Christmas, the little Christmas expansion. It's, it's good fun, very good fun. Not expensive. I mean, I know it's not Christmas, but you can still go there and buy it. I think I think it's still going to be available. It's, it'll, it'll offer a nice little, nice little change to the game. But yeah, I, I highly recommend this game. I think I said that in the first videos as well. Highly recommend this game. It's not expensive and it's a lot of fun. And you end up with some pretty pictures. Some nice little artwork as well. <laughs> yeah, highly recommended. Red Zone. So I've done two missions. Now, to win the game, I've got to do 10 completed missions or I've got to get 20 survivors. So still a way to go. So you can expect more, more videos in this series. So yeah, okay. Thank you very much guys for watching. Uh, please check this game out. It is a lot of fun. Um, uh, Toby needs to go back and make a, a, a correction to to the supplement. Uh, Xmas four table is a there's thing missing there. Uh, also, the the afflictions, the sprained ankle and the um, bullet graze. I think I'll be doing this temporary personally. Um, I don't think they should be permanent afflictions. 
And is the sprained ankle the same as the busted foot? I, 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 intrigued minds need to know. But yeah, loving this game. Thanks again for watching. Please, please, please take a moment to like and subscribe. I need subscribers. I need views. Let's, let's get it going. I want to start earning some money off this so I can actually pay for these games. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Cheers.